This is the plaintiff, Ariel. She says the defendant stole money out of her bank account and refuses to pay her back. That's right. This woman owes her $3,000 of her hard-earned money. And no matter what she does, the defendant refuses to return it. So she's suing. This is the defendant, KK. She says the plaintiff got arrested for hitting a girl in the back of the head with a bottle. And she gave her her bank card to get the cash needed to bail her out. Any money that was returned, minus fees and things, she endorsed and gave to the plaintiff's mother. Now the plaintiff's trying to frame her and extort 3,000 bucks from her. And that's just not right. She's accused of bailing on a friend. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $1,500 for defamation of character. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Let against have Vince Warner. Okay, Ariel? Yes. You are suing KK for $3,000 of yours that she took from a bank account with your authority to post a bond, but then a whole lot of drama happened afterwards. Correct. All right, what happened? Okay, basically, I depended on my friend to bail me out, but she wasn't old enough, so she told me about her. What did you get arrested for? It was for assault. Assault on who? Assault on a person. Yes, assaults usually are on a person. Tell me, was it a boyfriend situation? Was it a uh, It was a girl? friend situation. I was defending somebody else. Okay, and but what were you accused of doing? Basically, Punching assault, someone? Yeah. What? Punch it. Was your hands, were there any weapons involved? Yes, but what kind I'd rather of a weapon? not speak about it on... TV. Oh, is it still pending? No, it's kind of personal to me. Oh, that's too bad. Um, did, but was there a weapon involved? Um, yes or no? Yeah, but I was not convicted for it. Okay. Basically, is the case I had to over do time. Or is yes, it the pen? case is over. Oh, that's what I was I had asking. to do time because she, because she didn't bail me out. But before that happens, on the day that you're arrested, you call a friend of yours to bail you out, but the friend can't because the friend's not 18? Correct. And how old are you? I was 19 at the time. And how old is she? She's, I, was, I was 24 at the time. Okay. So, you, so what happens? How does she end up being the person who helps you? All right. So I knew her from a previous situation. It was, she was my friend's friend. That's the only way I knew her. But I trusted her to bail me out. That was the only situation. Right. So you, what did you do? You gave her, like, you're I in jail, gave so my how friend does it access. mechanically work? Okay, I gave my friend my pin, and she had went in with my friend. I told my friend, don't let anybody get my pin, don't let anybody see. In the surveillance, I've heard, that's what the TD Bank told me. They told me, if you want to see the records, you have to subpoena it. I tried to get it before I came here. Okay. And it's her and my friend at in the, the ATM, and also in the drive-thru. She was a driver, so she was... In the drive-thru, she put the pin in, so okay. she knew my pin so as well. So obviously your friend gave her the pin. But go ahead. How much money is withdrawn? It was 3200 withdrawn, 200 was put back, 3000 was withdrew. When did they put the 200 back? The same day, but I, it was put back in a different account, so I couldn't see it right okay. then and there. So, so I just course, called about So the in your mind, your friend and your friend's friend took $200. Correct, but I they, let it go. Right. And then what happened? And did then, you ever confront her about it? We had a, did we speak? I forgot. We, we did spoke. Did you text? We probably did text and we argued and she said something like, don't go back to jail. And that's when I was like, how could you say that to me if I bailed out with my own money? I'm confused. I went to bail bonds. She said, you, the signature was lifted. She never said, this is why I said they're friends. She never said, your signature was lifted. You're going to go back to jail when you go to court the next day, the next week. I had five days Home. I bailed out in five days. I went back to court. I went back to court. I went back to jail. And they took you in. Exactly. And why did they take her in? She, all right. First of all, I took my name off the bail packet because when she first came home and she met with Diana. Who's she was Diana? Diana's the bell lady. She was highly disrespectful to her. When she left the Bells Bond, man, like, when she left the Bells Bond, Diana called me like, yo, okay. Because on the packet, you can see I called her my cousin. She's like, yo, your cousin is crazy. It's something literally wrong with her. I'm like, what happened? She's like, oh, she's mad disrespectful. She coming up in here like I owe her something. She don't have no filter. She talking to me like I'm crazy. And she talking to me like I'm not the one that helps her. So I'm like, listen, just let it rock. She just came home from jail. She going through stuff. 
She did not go home five. She did not get locked up five days later. You could look at the day that. Why did she get locked up? Oh, she got locked up because I took my name off the bell package. Why did you take your name off of. Wait, first of all, how do you get to take your name off a promissory note? Because you you can. Just excuse me. Do I need your help? I asked Diana, she said, I said, how can I get off the bell packet? And she yeah, said, but like, I want you to think a second. Of if she wasn't your homie, you think that you could get take your name off of a promissory note and yank somebody who used their money because it was their money. It wasn't your money. It was her money that she used to bail, to bail out. You did her a favor. You didn't like her tone. The bail lady didn't like her tone. But how dare you tell her? I'll tell you what. We'll show her. Lift the um, lift my signature. I'm not. I I I hereby. Uh, you know, and uh, there's no more signature. And boom, and then she gets yanked in and spends five months in jail? But whose fault is that, though? That's not my it's fault. It's your fault. It's she my, is a, she it's can be. My fault that yes. She, my, it's my fault that yes. she's running her mouth yes. and she's running her you, mouth to me. I don't know who you are, That's but crazy. you need to get out because we don't scream from a chair in my courtroom. Oh, you right, you with the good hoops. You, out. That one, that one right there who's screaming from her chair. Out. Out, 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 please. Out, out. Okay. To your left, please. See, you think I don't understand why you did what you did. I don't understand that you did what you did. I understand that you feel she should be grateful, and she should. I understand that you were insulted that she accused you, I guess. Can I say something real quick? Wait a minute. That she accused you of stealing... When you did it, because apparently it was in the other account or but whatever. But the two hundred that let's make this clear: the two hundred, the money that she's claiming that was missing and that was she's put wrong. back in, in right. her account. Listen, she admits she's she wrong. She never ever said anything to me about that. That was never. Oh well, to, then why did you tell? Me. Why did you tell your homie to, to lift the bond? Why did Why did you? Do I that? told her to lift. This is why I told her to lift the bond. She texts me talking about a paper or something. She was like, oh, could you sign this paper for me? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, no problem. So she's like, when you gonna do it? When you gonna do it? I said, I'm at work right now. And I said, no problem. Oh, so when the F is you gonna do it? Because that- Do you have those texts? I don't have those texts. Do you have those texts? Do you have, have I'm sorry, phone. I have a question. Do you have those texts? When text? I got incarcerated, I lost my phone. Okay, and you don't have those texts? I don't have those texts, but okay. she know what she said in the text. Okay, okay. She no, going- stop, stop. Do you hear yourself? I so basically, you wrecked someone's life because they smack talk me, and nobody smack talks me. Do you smack think, talk no, talk no stop, respect because that's stop, exactly why her mother stop, didn't want to bail her stop. out. Stop, like, and listen to me. me You're not in the street right now. You're in my courtroom. So everybody take it down a notch. Go ahead. Okay. She was on a payment plan. She knew, she, all right, she's going around saying I did all of this and did all that. She's saying the thing with the paper. Like, first of all, you never, sh- she never showed me a paper. She what all- was the paper she wanted you to sign? What was the gist of she, it? She never told me what, she just said, I want you to sign this paper. And I asked her what was the paper. And she never said what the paper was for. She never nice. said what the paper was for. And if it was so much lies, I mean, no, I, I, if it was I, so much what, lies. Wait, just a second. What about everything I've said makes you think you could shout out lies. I in apologize. The, but yeah, I, keep your mouth shut. Go ahead. If it's so much lies, yep. you have iCloud. Everything is backed up. I know. Your text messages so and here, everything here, is backed here's up. So deal. why I don't, don't care. you have this? See, there's no lies. There's you telling me that the following happened. You went to her bank account and you got three grand. I never went no, to I'm her sorry. bank account. I I'm never sorry. went into I her bank account. I need you to stop talking. You go with other people to the bank and 3000 is obtained. You go to your bond lady and post $3,000. You sign a promissory note obligating yourself for the full rest of the $25,000 bond if she skips. The idea is that she gets to stay out. There is a huge difference between someone who is spending five, where'd you go? Rikers Island. Rikers Island. Five months at Rikers by the time her case comes up and someone who's on the outside. The person who's on the outside is in a position of strength. They've been on the outside. The person who spent five months is desperate to get out and not have a continuance. They just want the case over with that day. So that person's gonna plead out, you see? So there's a big difference, to say nothing of the fact that there's five months at Rikers, okay? So here's the part that can't happen. It only happened because she's your homie. You call her and you tell her, I don't like how she's acting, she's completely ungrateful. I know she's ungrateful. I'm going to give you that she's ungrateful. But it's like me going, come here. 
like this to Douglas and Douglas shooting me. You gave her the death penalty for touching you. Go ahead, go back down. I just wanted to touch you. <laughs> Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. Okay, I have a human nature question. Um, when you feel somebody does you wrong, are people generally vindictive when that happens? I think so. Um, at first, uh, as long as you have good friends to bring you back in and... To reel you back. Yeah, to make sure... What do you think? I mean, do people generally try to hurt somebody else when they hurt them? Yes, I mean, it's a defensive mechanism. You know, when you're on the defensive, when you feel like you're, you're being uh, played. When you're being played, you play somebody else. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got you. Going inside the courtroom. Ridiculous. It's, it's so vicious and vindictive and nasty. And then when you do that, the only reason you can get away with doing that is because the person is your homie. And she's loving it because what does she do? She keeps a premium for five days of risk. And so between the two of you, you kept her $3,000. What the heck you think is gonna happen today? Number one, she's getting back every bit of her $3,000. And number two, you're not getting a penny for defamation of character because everything she says you did, you did. You don't have a right to do what you did. You and the bondsman engaged in some highly irregular, highly inappropriate behavior because neither one of you like how she sassed you. It's not about how Yeah, she's it's because you sassed them. It's Both of that. them thought she's, you were sassy. Got, so maybe you should be less sassy, me. too. Maybe they're. But, but it doesn't matter because that's like you poking them and them shooting you eight times in the head. That's how it is. And it's not permissible. So you get your whole 3000 back. You don't get a penny for defamation of character. And let me give you a piece of advice. You need to file a complaint against the bondsman. Thank you. Okay? That's my verdict. So, in a fascinating uh, case about how it works, when you're out on bail, uh, the plaintiff is going to get her $3,000 back. You know, you're laughing, but the judge really lets you have it. You, I mean, because of what you did, she spent five months in jail. No, it's because of what she did she spent five no, months what, in jail. No, she sassed you a little bit. No, right? she didn't sass you. You lifted your name off the promissory note? Yes, that I did. That canceled her bail. I did. And so that's why she spent the five months in jail? Well, she would never hit the girl in the hell with a bottle then. See? She wouldn't have been Do in jail. Do you feel at all place. bad for doing that? I mean... Uh, I mean, seriously. What suppose did I do wrong, you. though? Suppose it had been you. But suppose it had been me, I would have played my cards right. I wouldn't be sitting there talking to people like, basically, you don't bite the hand I fed you. Yeah, well, basically. obviously, you don't feel bad at all. I don't. And now she could get off my... Don't say it. Now she got it. All right. right. Now okay. She Go down. ahead. Goodbye. <laughs> all right. Ariel is on her way out of the courtroom. You know, I really feel sorry for what all you went through. I'm not sure exactly what it was that got you in there in the first place. But bottom line is, what was it like? It was terrible. I never want to go back. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm sure it was terrible. All right, you get your $3,000. Yes, Think you've I'm you learned excited. anything from all of this? Thank you. I'm and I'm sure you have. The best lesson I learned was not to trust anybody. And, yeah. All right. Okay. You must sign a few documents. We don't get many cases like that, Harvey. What do you think? Okay, and Doug, by the way, the reason the uh, countersuit got defense is that truth is a defense in a defamation case.